What is up everyone and welcome back. So, if you see the tripod shake, my dog already sees this box and is like, what do you have there? So, this box is a little bit late on my behalf. I was holding on to it. Um, of course, everything's still good. This is about a three-week-old box. I'm like, yes, I know, I know. So, here's the thing. The Christmas box should be rolling around. So, you'll get introduced to dog box, and then we'll have the Christmas dog box. Now, I do want to tell you this is not sponsored. I did purchase this with my own money. So, just a heads up. I'm not trying to sell you anything, but I do really like this company, and I do stand beside it. And uh, so does my dog under the desk. So, if you don't know, I have a pit bull bully bulldog named Sugar Bear, and I have a French bulldog named Simon, the little white one, and Sugar Bear is the brown one. Without further ado, let's get into this. I cannot wait, and let's kind of explain. It has a 100% handmade dog treats inside, and Box Dog is a subscription box. You can get it monthly, or you can get it every three months, like, you know, um... Different holidays, different seasons, things like that. You can cancel any time. Again, this is not sponsored, but I just want to give you a rundown of how this works because I wasn't familiar with this any uh, either. I do have some bark boxes also coming up, so it was kind of like, I'm like, whoa. I got to decide which that I like and decide which one I'm going to keep because right now, you know, I just you know, I'm picking up momentum, and, um, it's just a little much buying these with my own money, so, and then Christmas is here, so they'll get Christmas toys, etc., but I did want to show you this, and I did purchase the Christmas box, again, it will be coming up, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this, so this is the box dog, and boxdog.com is how I found this, now, I do want to show this box, it is very nice and reusable, you can use it for storage, and they are always lovely little boxes, so, I do use these to restore things like my YouTube stuff, um, makeup, whatever the case may be. Really thick, good, sturdy box. So, you know, these are great little, you can stack them. These would be good even for Christmas ornaments, things like that, because they're a really good, sturdy box. Without further ado, let's move on. And I was trying to save the, the you know what, the they can have now, but I wanted to save the toys and stuff till Christmas, so I don't know how this is going to go. Um, let's show the tissue paper here, and uh, it is wrapped up. Let me just show you. Let me stand up. Check out this uh, jazzy little Christmas. Oops, sorry. This thing is the real deal. Look at this thing. It's got buttons. It's got like a little garland here. Is that not the cutest? And it comes all the way around. I don't want to flash you. So, this is the tissue paper. I really like to reuse things like this. The little sticker I usually peel off, put on my notepads. I try to really recycle and use things like this. And then what isn't that a cute sticker? If you see fuzz flying in the wind, it's not from the box. It is from this dress. Uh, that's the only thing. It won't stay folded down. And you can see the seam. And it is really, really fuzzy. But I do like this dress a lot. And it's super cute. And it's really cozy. So if you see fuzz flying in the wind, not from the box, from my dress. Okay, well, without further ado, she is like, what do we got here, and what do we have? Okay, now, I did take a peek at this box because I wanted to make sure, um, okay, that's not touching my straw. I wanted to make sure, I'm going to pull you guys over just a tiny bit. I wanted to make sure that I wanted to repurchase this box again with, you know, being introduced to Bark Box, things like that. I wanted to make sure that I wanted to get the Christmas box for them. So I did take a little peek at this, but honestly, I do remember these things, but I can't remember what else is inside. So without further ado, let's get into it. These are the Gourmet Frosted Cookies. Now, it does have the uh, emblem here. This is a sticker you could totally pull off. But what I like about this, it has bubble wrap and it is a nice plastic reusable bag. So if you were going to the beach, you wanted to put some ice in here for them or, you know, even use some snacks or you wanted to use this just simply for dog treats or put this like 
full of ice in the freezer. Really good idea. Reusable bag. Totally dig it. It's got the reusable seal here. But it's like an actual plastic. It's not like a baggie. It's an actual plastic. So I'm totally going to reuse this. I'll probably rip this off. But I like it does have the box dog on here. So let's get into our first thing here. But yeah, you could even make this like a cold pack if your pet got hurt or an emergency. Put this in the cooler if they started getting hot in the summertime. I know it's winter where I'm at right now, but just giving you a couple ideas. Or you could just simply use this for treats. Put it in your, your backpack. I know things with the world, you know, travel is a little different. But you catch my drift in a regular world. So, we have... A little shark here and these are again handmade these are natural they're not made with like artificial things that's what I like about this is I don't like to feed my dogs a bunch of weird stuff and then you know with Simon he's very finicky my French Bulldog um, he's very finicky to what he can and can't have so you got this lovely little shark here and look I mean the attention to detail is just amazing and then you've got this cool little surfboard here and they weren't broke when I got them. This is probably just, actually, it's just icing. It's not even broke. This is just probably for me moving it around. But uh, isn't that nice? And very thick cookies. So you got two of those in your reuse reusable pouch here. She's doing really good. She hasn't noticed yet. So... And then you get, they have tried these. I'm not going to lie to you. I did open them up, like I said, again, to make sure they like this stuff before I purchased the Christmas box. Now, I'm going to use that as that's the thing here. Boom. Christmas is done. They got this box. They got the Christmas one. They're good to go. So, these are the soft bacon cheese bites. Barley, flour, palm oil, honey, rolled oats, cheddar, flax, coconut oil, natural bacon flavor and that's another thing with this if your dog is allergic to something you can customize this you can customize this box you can pick out your own stuff so if your dog is allergic to something don't worry you can totally customize it if they don't like peanut butter if they don't like bacon whatever the case may be and they're split up too if you would have one dog that's allergic to something one dog it's not you know so you can customize it um, the second thing is peanut butter bones, rye flour, rice uh, flour, oatmeal, applesauce, flaxseed, peanut butter, rice bran, uh, the soft honey cinnamon bites, uh, barley flour, palm oil, honey, rolled oats, oat flour, coconut oil, chia seeds, cinnamon. Like, these is, this is human grade food here. So, these are more like a soft biscuity, like see that like went to crumble my hand. Um, and then this is also a soft texture here. And then you got, this is more of your typical hard dog bone type style. So, let's see. Um... Okay, these are the peanut butter bones. These are the soft bacon and cheese bites, and these are the soft honey and cinnamon bites. I mean, look at that. You can see the oats in. Smells amazing, you guys. These smell, like I said, I've had this for probably about three weeks, and it just smells fresh. It smells like human food. Let's give Sugar Bear one here in a second. And, um, let's see here. Oh, hold on. Oh, these were in the pouch. My bad. Sorry, these were in the pouch we just... So, you've got a dinosaur here. And then you've got a sun. And like I said, if there's something that your dog's... Yeah, these were in the pouch. So, you got four cookies in the pouch. Sorry about that. I had them sitting on my lap. Yeah, so you got four total... So, you got four total cookies in the pouch. Those are really, like, specialty cookies for dogs or expensive places. These are probably 2 and $3 up to 4 So... You do the math on that. That's a really great deal right there. Um, like I said, I'm not sponsored with this box. So if you can shoot me a thumbs up. Let me know if you ever tried this box. Um, have you heard of it? This was a first for me until a little bit ago. I had not heard of it. Now, as I mentioned, if you're new to my channel, Sugar Bear sees her reflection. She gets wild. So I'm going to pan in her and I'm going to pan out because she'll try to bite. You know, she just sees the light, the reflection. She's just very... Um, 
Sugar bear. And try cheese and bacon. Good girl. And sugar bear is a very, oh, you got some on your face. I say, let me finish, mama. Here, let's get that so it didn't get in your eye. There we go, we'll put that there. No more bug. Okay, Sugar Bear is a pit bull bully bulldog mix, and she is the most gentle giant in the world. I've said this before, it's all about the way you raise a dog. She is never, you know, attacked anyone, bit anyone. She is just a lovable creature. So I hate that, you know, sometimes pit bulls get a bad rap. Uh, oh no, guys. So I don't know if these are going to survive till Christmas. Um, I'm really trying here. I have a giveaway coming up. If you're new to my channel, subscribe. We do a little bit of everything over here. Makeup, tea, reacts, news, a little bit in between. Hence the word Kaya Simon's life. A little bit everything in life. Like I said, now, you can add on things to your box. I think these were only $5. This is the Box Dog brand again. This is their brand of stuff. So, um, actually... This says West Pole. But a majority of the stuff that I've seen so far, I don't want to quote, but it is their brand of stuff that I've seen. Um, they do make the treats, so that's the treats that you get. But um, these are the ear and eye wipes. Gently remove tear stains, build up. Uh, my French Bulldog, I do use these for him. Sugar barrel wiper face, stuff like this. But these were only five bucks to add on. Nice and heavy, completely full. Um, do come sealed. I do really like that. That way, if I haven't used my last wipes, I can hold on to these and they stay fresh. Okay, moving right along. This is where I don't know if we'll be able to compete. Okay, this is a BPA-free, latex-free, and FDA-compliant. Fits in a ball thrower like the scoops that you can fling. Jive for tough chewers, tested for toughness. Love it. Guaranteed. Safe. Durable. Made responsibly. This is the West Poles. Made in the USA. Made with love and recycled toys. It floats in water. I like that. It's dishwasher safe. If it gets crusty, all slobbery, you can wipe it out. This is very, very sturdy. Both of my dogs, even my little French Bulldog, they are power chewers. And yeah, so it says, this toy is built smart and safe. No dog. No dog toys indestructible, you know, basically use risk at risk. If you don't re if you don't love it, we replace and refund anything that the dog doesn't like and introduce a happy dance and it's got blah 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 guarantee. Okay. And it says, Wow, send us your used dog toys. Westpole.com recycle. I really like that. Honestly, that is a great idea. I'm being serious. Like, what do pe people just throw this stuff away? So that's cool that they really, you know, okay. So we've got the ball. I did add on the wipes, like I said. Um, so this is for the summer. Again, it comes nice and sealed. You can see here, it's got a thing. This is a box dog sunscreen. So some of it comes with a little bit of toys or whatever you pick. You can pick and customize it, like you said. But it does come with a item that is like a useful item. That's what I like about this. So, I mean, who doesn't think, I wouldn't think a dog sunscreen, put it on their little nose. I mean, everybody gets sunburnt. So, perfect little thing, fit in your travel bag. Um, it's got everything here on the side. But, yeah, who would have thought to buy dog sunscreen? That's what I like about stuff like this, that it's already in there, you're ready to go. And then this was one of the items that I did pick and customize. This is the box dog, and it is a little washable a towel for their bath so it's quite big let me stand up here and you get the drift of it it's like a nice size i mean look it covers me nice it's like the chamois material the micro like really soft feels really good you know some of these feel like scratchy this one doesn't feel scratchy it's super soft super sturdy good stitching so this is one of the items that i picked out because who couldn't use a new um you know pet towel and i do like to use you know my pets with their own towels um i can wash and wash and wash stuff and simon's hair is just that fine little french bulldog hair that sticks to into anything so i thought this was a really good thing and again great to get this in a box and not excuse me want to spend you know you don't think of these things when you're out and about 
buying stuff. Dog sunscreen, towels. Great to get it in a box. I really, really like this. Good and sturdy. It's nice and thick and soft. It's not the cheap, scratchy filling. Okay, this is another customizable thing that I picked. Um, my Pitbull Bully Bulldog Sugar Bear, as I just mentioned down here and show. She has a wider, broader chest, so it is very hard to find harnesses and colors. Uh, matter of fact, before the world um, changed, you know, situation, I'm not going to get into that, but I had bought her a Kong harness, and it was way too small, so I got to take that back, and nobody was taking returns, but I got to get that back in there, so I thought this is really cute, look at this, so it's got the thing here for her leash, put her little dog tags on there, her name tag, her dog tags, and then look, it is like a seat belt, she's like, what is that? I wish you got hold on, let's pan down. I'm trying not to I got the stress on, but look. Sugar bear. What is this? Do you like your new color? Let's show everyone. And again, it's I just want to show. I'm not gonna adjust it because I don't want to get her roll route up and think, you know, we're going you know where, but it, it it totally it's you know big, but it's adjustable here. Very nice, sturdy, thick. Do you like your new color? Yes. I love the treats better, Mama. Yes. So, yeah. Totally adjustable. It's got the thing right here. You can go bigger. You can go smaller. Or, excuse me, it's right here. But, yeah. So, it's got the, you know, pull it smaller. There we go. I'm going to put on your new color. Say, I don't want that on. We're in the house. But, yeah. And just latches. It's still, I need to move it around, but you get the drift. Super cute, huh, book? Say, I love it. Say, I love my new color. You like it? And look, I mean, if she grows, it can be moved around. Okay, let's move right along. I'm going to take this off of her because then she'll think we are. I don't usually uh, put colors on my dogs unless we are going, you know, where. Because they're at home. Unless they're going out to potty you know, be on their lead, or we're, I don't even want to say the word to get her route up, but you get the drift. So, nice, heavy, sturdy, very, like, that's the thing. These are not, again, this is not sponsored. I'm not, I really purchased this with my own money, but look at that. I mean, she has busted a lead outside before, ripped a metal lead, and this is good and sturdy, and I like that it has the metal brackets here and not plastic. Okay. This was what sold me and made me sign up for the box. Sugar Bear likes to lay on things. Simon likes to lay on things. And this is what did it for me when I seen this box. Now, another thing I like this company does, these are reusable bags that you can take the air in and out. So if you're traveling, you can sew this vacuum, sew it back up. This lets the air in and out. And that's what that does. And see, it makes it more compressible. Where you don't have it in your luggage or your backpack or toting it around in the car or the truck or whatever. And it's taking up too much space. So, let's go ahead. And like I said, all the stuff, I totally reuse these bags. Even if I wasn't going to put this back in. You could put clothes in here, sweaters, extra leashes, um, costumes. My dogs. Okay, Kai, how do you get this open here? My dogs really aren't into costumes, but um, they do wear like little things around their neck. Too. Okay, here we go. And look, like I said, this releases the air in and out, etc. But this is a great snappable, reusable giant bag. Okay, guys, I am running out of space here. Let me move this box out of our way. Okay. What I liked about this is, this is a cooling mat. Look how big this is. I mean, you guys just seen, it's hard to see where she's laying, but this is a really big cooling mat. Look at the size of that. I mean, it's hard to even fit in frame here. Can you guys see it? So it's got like surfboards on, like a beach theme. I mean... Okay, so this is a cooling mat. It's got like little grippers here underneath. And look at this. I mean, I can't even fit it into frame. 
so this is perfect. That's the thing with some of these boxes that I found was like it's nice and thick. Put that out if you're at a picnic, a cookout, if you're at the park, leave it in the car, truck, whatever, you know, camper, whatever, you know, your situation is. This is amazing. And this is, um, you can put water on it to keep them cool. You, I mean, this is just a great thing. Put down somewhere. You could even put this in your car if you wanted. Lay it in your truck, van, or whatever to keep the dog hair and keep them cozy. But I really, really like this. And that is what sold me because I have a small dog, my Frenchie. I consider him a medium dog. And then I have an extra large dog. And that is what things, you know, you never, ever find extra large dog. Tons of small stuff everywhere. <coughs> Excuse me. And you know, I'm a got my dog mug out here. My French Bulldog is like a cream white fawn, but I got this on clearance last year and it's got like the reflective. So I was like, what a perfect video to bust out my dog cup. But yeah, like I was saying is you see so many things from companies that are, um, Actually, let's do it right now. You see, so many things from companies that are made for small dogs, and that was the thing that I liked about this company was I was finding extra large dog stuff, and I was customizing my items. There are dog clothes. There are dog sweaters. There are jackets. There are backpacks. You name it, Box Dog has everything, but my dogs don't wear clothes. They don't like things like that. Sugar Bear's not really too bad, but Simon does not like clothes. Uh, one of my good friend of mine that... um. Check my French. I'm about to drop the third French den video. My French Bulldog Simon has some puppies. I studied him out and um he's the male. So anyways, the um breeder, the baby mother of my dog's baby mama. I say that in one word. Anyways, she had got him some things last year, little t-shirts and cute things. Simon does not like it. And, you know, so that's what I liked about this. You know, you've got an item here for Sugar Bear. Um, this is a little heavy for Simon, but if in an emergency situation, I could bring this down to fit him. If an emergency panned out, he slid off of his, his broke, whatever, I could totally move this. But this is pretty heavy for Simon. But like I said, an emergency, you never know. But Look at the design. I mean, you got the palm trees, little surfers, the fish, the sun. So, let's run this down. We've got the color one item. We've got the cooling mat item two. These I added. Five dollars. You're going to spend that in the store. Completely full I can fill. Come sell. Sugar Bear, it's the light, my love. She sees the light off of... Hold on, guys. See what I mean? She's like trying to get the box. Dog sunscreen. So, we're at... One, two, I added these. We're not going to count these. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sugar Bear, it's a shadow. And then you add the dog cookies. You get two, seven, eight, nine, and ten. But if you want to consider this one, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then these added on for five bucks. There is other stuff you can add on. It wasn't just wipes. You can add on extra toys. You can add on colors, clothes, leashes, whatever they have to offer that month. You can add on and do whatever you want. Like I said, it can be monthly. It can be, you know, annually, excuse me, annually, like in seasons. I think it's every three months is like the annually, annually. So check it out you guys like i said again this is not sponsored so if you could shoot me a thumbs up that really really helps do you know of box dog i had only heard of bark box and i really think i don't know guys this is giving them a run for their money we'll have to see next time we open up a bark box what the comparison is and see which one do we like better let me know have you guys tried both what do you like better? And yeah, I really, really stand beside this company. It's not sponsored, but I do think these are really good products. I mean, you buy all this in the store. I think it was $49.99 and you're going to pay that mat. It's probably going to be $20-something. You're looking at probably $10, $12 bucks for this. Maybe $8, $9, but it's really good quality. Colors, you know, a good custom color. Expensive. You know, who would even thought to get dog sunscreen? And, yeah, good quality bakery items for dogs. Uh, bakeries get expensive. So, I mean, you're thinking, I don't know about y'all, but, I mean, this is a sturdy dog ball. 
things like that can run you up to 9, 10, 12, 13, 14 bucks. I mean, it's solid. All right, you guys, I'm not going to babble any longer. My name is Kaya. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day, great night, depending on when you're watching this. And don't worry, we got the dog Christmas box, box dog. Say that all in one word. We got the Christmas box coming up, so we will be able to see what this Christmas box brings and if it gives bark box a run for their money so far i'm saying most definitely but we'll have to see we get a bark box coming too so if you like content like this and everything in between hit that subscribe button and i will see you later have a good night kaya out